there. Hey, Michael, how are things looking? Well, things are picking up here at the little watch party, and I'm being joined by who actually was running for the seat just a few months ago. Now, well, you're actually supporting your former opponent, your fellow Republican, Martha McSally, Dr. Kelly Ward. And first off, how are you feeling about a lot of the races that we're seeing, particularly Martha McSally? Yeah, I, I think that it's uh, it's going to be a go. It's going to be a red wave that we see across the country. I think that they called it for Marsha Blackburn, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that's exciting. From Tennessee. That's and, right. From Tennessee. And so I'm hopeful that that's going to happen right here in Arizona as well. So what do you really believe is at stake? I mean, you wanted to get this seat. Why do you believe that this seat is so important yeah. to get for Arizonans to make sure it stays red? Right. Well, I mean, I think that we need somebody who will support the America First agenda, somebody who is for securing the border, building the wall, making sure that we have great access to high quality, cost effective health care for everyone, that um, the economy continues to grow, that our military is supported, that our veterans are supported. And I think that that's what Martha's going to do as a senator. And I think that's that's what the Republicans are going to do up and down the entire ticket. And how does it feel for you to know that you, I mean, you wanted to be up on the stage. I have to ask you, I mean, how does it feel to kind of be at this watch party today? maybe watching Martha McSally have a chance to go yeah, to the U.S. Well, I mean, of course, I would love to be the senator from Arizona, but I'm glad to see that we will hopefully have a Republican as the first female senator from the great state of Arizona. And when we're talking about this, uh, you know, we've seen a lot of major players come in, from President Trump to others. But you also did your part a little bit to help out Martha McSally. What did you do to try to maybe push her over the top of the very yeah, end? Yeah, I mean, I've been very supportive um, of, of her campaign, as well as pointing out her opponent's flaws. Uh, did a, a health care ad, because as a physician, I know that Obamacare is detrimental to the people of our country. It's detrimental to patients, it's detriment, detrimental to physicians, and it's detrimental to the health care um, entity the entire system as a whole. And so it's got to go. We've got to get the free market back in so that people can have access to high quality, cost effective care. And that happens only through the free market. So I worked with a, a super PAC called Restore Our Health Care mm -hmm. to be able to put an ad out in support of Martha and opposing her opponent. So what do you think is really at stake here as we watch these results roll in? What do you think is at stake here for Arizonans and the country as a whole? Yeah, I, you know, I am, I'm hoping for a red wave across the entire country. So that President Trump has the support that he needs in the House, in the Senate, and in the local, you know, at the local level, at the state legislative level, at the governorship level, so that we can continue with that great America First agenda. Now, of course, we talked up and down the uh, ballot. Actually, I just have one more question for sure. you. You know, we talked a little bit about it. There's uh, been a lot of people out here who've said that they had a lot of support for you. Would you ever consider maybe running in 2020 or for Senate ever again? You know, I say never say never. And, you know, my husband says, no, she's never running again <laughs> at times. But I say, you know, I'm a young person. I'm 49 years old. There's a lot of life in front of me and I have a lot to offer. I have skills, talents and abilities that I think could be put to good use for the people of our state and the people of our country. So we'll see. So that's a yes? Maybe. It's a, a yeah? Maybe. It's a firm maybe. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate your time. And again, we'll keep you up to date with more guests, with more candidates as we continue throughout the night. Of course, we're